Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial. Today we will talk about Black Mountain Poets. First of all, the question comes in mind, who were Black Mountain Poets? So, it was a group of progressive writers associated with Black Mountain College. We will talk about Black Mountain College later. Uh, this group had great impact for 20 years in American uh, literature or in poetry. And uh, the time period was of uh, between 1930s to 1950s and they used in their poetry co compositions projective words. What are projective words? They used it and uh, this form of words was hard to master and each line of poem contains enough info what can be spoken in one breath of speech. So this is very important. Uh, you can make the notes and you can note down all these things. As you know, at 7.30 daily, I take uh, one topic for discussion. If you are English literature student, do subscribe the channel. Now let's come to the next part of this uh, notes. Uh, 1933, Black Mountain College was uh, started and it, it, uh, uh, it was created uh, in response to, uh, you know, uh, that time what uh, other poets were writing. And some people were not happy, so they uh, established a college, Black Mountain College, and uh, they started using their own opinion in their writings. So there were two important uh, writers of that is Olson and Creeley. Creeley and Olson, they founded Black Mountain Review. It was a magazine as well. And uh, before this, uh, there was another uh, magazine we will discuss later. 1956 college closed due to lack of funding and it was an of black mountain poets uh, moment too now let's talk about characteristics and uh, black mountain uh, poetry or we can say group of school uh, group of poets and this school was response to poetic forms practiced by earlier poets like t.s Eliot. so they were not happy with earlier poets and uh, their their forms so that's why they created this uh, this school and uh, they used uh, their particular uh, projective words uh, in their poetry. They used colloquial language, they used metonymy a lot and they favored freestyle form like romantic poetry, you know. Early works were published in origin and this was also a magazine and this can be asked you that uh, uh, this uh, this magazine is related to which group of uh, poets or school. This, this projective verse what we discussed earlier, this was verse as well as uh, this was the name of an essay written by Olsen and uh, it expressed, uh, he expressed his views about creative writing by their groups. They value, they value experiments in their works. If we talk about the important poets of this group, first was Robert Creeley. Robert Creeley, next is Charles uh, Olson, we have gone through this name, and Robert Duncan. Robert Duncan, he worked in Experimental Review. Experimental Review, this was again a magazine, and his famous work was The Opening of the Field, which got published in 1973. Some of other poets were Larry Egner and Ed Dawn and Hilda Molle. Now let's go through uh, these notes once again in short. Hopefully this will give you a good revision as well. Uh, so first of all, uh, we talked about Black Mountain poets. Who are they? Uh, who are those? It was a group of progressive writers associated with Black Mountain College. And uh, they had great impact for 20 years. Uh, this was the span of time they had impact or uh, they influenced the writing of American poetry. It was the time between 1930s to 1950s. And uh, they used uh, projective verse in their poetry. And what was projective verse? It was uh, uh, here. Each line of the poem contains enough in information what can be spoken in one breath of speech. Uh, they, they used to write down in the line 
दैट मच इन्फो दैट कैन बी स्पोकन इन वन ब्रेस ऑफ टाइम मीन्स एक सांस में हम उतना बोल पाए इस तरह से काफी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट यू नो राइटिंग वे वे ऑफ राइटिंग मीन्स इट कुड बी टू रेस्ट्रिक्टेड इसमें काफी सारे रेस्ट्रिक्शन के साथ उनको लिखना पड़ता था 1933 ब्लैक माउंटेन यू शुड रिमेम्बर दीज इयर्स ओके एंड सो दीज वर रिलेटेड टू ब्लैक माउंटेन कॉलेज ब्लैक माउंटेन पोइट्स ब्लैक माउंटेन कॉलेज बिगेन इन नाइनटीन 1954 also and clearly found thrilly uh, founded the black mountain review it was a magazine and the college closed due to lack of funding and it was uh, it was end of black mountain poets too means the uh, it was for uh, it was the end for their poetry as well if we talk about characteristics they used metonymy they used colloquial language they were uh, value experiments in their writings and early works were published in origin it was again a magazine and they favored freestyle form and uh, this was a response of poetic forms practiced by earlier poets like t s eliot and uh, uh, here is another work uh, projective verse which got uh, published in 1950 uh, in this essay olson expressed his views about creative writing here are some uh, uh, important uh, poets can be asked in exams first is robert kelly second is robert duncan and third is robert olson here robert uh, duncan uh, worked with uh, a magazine named the experimental review and his famous work was the opening of the field in 1973 and uh, the other we can say small uh, writers uh, these these three are important you should know the names and here are other now uh, related to this group larry egna at dolan and hilda molly so see you soon at 7:30 tomorrow and if you wish to join our courses you can directly message me on 7409287156 if you are preparing for ugc net or any tgt pgt classes so you can whatsapp me on this number i will just you can discuss there about courses So see you soon uh, in another video. Till then, goodbye. Take care.